Now to the latest in the trial of the man accused of shooting federal judge Terrence Berg outside his home last March. Both Berg and his wife took the stand today, but also key testimony from a co-conspirator who took a plea deal to testify against the defendant, Kevin Smith. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn joins us live from the newsroom with the latest on this one. Dave. Glenda, at the end of today's court proceeding, the defendant, Kevin Smith, told Judge Timothy Kenny he wanted to fire his attorney, Robert McWilliams. It capped a full day in Wayne County Circuit Court. As part of his plea deal, Robert Williams testified against the defendant, Kevin Smith. I grew up with Mr. Smith. How long had you known him? About 10 years, sir. Okay. So you, you had known him for about 10 years? Yes, sir. According to Williams, both took part in numerous armed robberies between January and May of 2015. Did you ever participate in those planned robberies yourself? Yes, sir. But how many robberies in total did you say that the, this, this agreement you guys had, how many did you do in total? Do you know? Like 16, sir. That number also included the attempted robbery of Judge Berg, who Williams says Smith walked up on outside of his home on the night of March 5th. What happens to the victim? Uh, he fell on the ground. Uh, he fell on the ground and he was screaming, help, help. Berg's wife, Anita Sevier, also testified today. She was inside the home when Berg was shot in the leg. The judge called out to her for help. In court today, she listened as the 911 call from that night was played. We need help. I don't know what happened. He just ran up and shot him. A running from the judge's house that night, Robert Williams testified that he and Smith laughed at hearing Berg cry out from help from his doorstep. For his agreement to testify against his friend, Robert Williams had some of the charges against him dropped. In addition, the deal also calls for Williams to serve his prison time outside the state of Michigan for his protection. Live in the newsroom, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Dave.